Howdy folks, Daniel Rubino here at WPCentral.com and man do I have a gift for you guys today. We're going to be taking a look at the new Audible app that's coming to Windows Phone in the next few weeks. You can see the tile right here flipping around, shows you my latest book, whatever I've been listening to. We've been waiting a long time for Audible. That is the, uh, it's a service that's owned by Amazon that allows you to listen to audio books on the go. And we, like I said, we've been waiting a long time, but you know what? They did a really nice job with it. So at least we're going to get that. Let's launch the app here. I love the design of this. It's so bold, striking, and it works really, really fast. Loads up here. We've got my library. You can see I have the Hitchhiker's Guide here. It's the only book I have right now. And yes, I've never actually read it, so I'm going to listen to it. Um, your first listen, which is just a demo, basically. Uh, here's your shop. New releases, bestsellers. Now, when you tap these, it actually goes to basically an Internet Explorer interface, which is kind of lame, but at the same time, it works pretty well, so you can get a book here, buy for twenty seven ninety seven. I haven't signed in yet, but this is just an uh, Internet Explorer interface. If you buy it, it's just going to sync back to your device. So that's how that works. If you go over here, you get your news, which is kind of cool. So all nighter, take a power nap and you'll be fine. We've listened for six hours at night. Uh, actually, that's not true. I didn't earn that, but I could share that if I wanted to, which will use my um, Twitter and live and Facebook status and all that, which is kind of cool. You can do that for any of these news items, basically. So here's the Three Musketeers. Yeah, so there's just news items that come down. But it's kind of nice. They did a really good job with that. I like it. Here's your stats. This is kind of a cool thing. So we have uh, your badge collection which is kind of fun. So you can scroll down, you can collect badges. It's sort of like a four square thing. Listening time, you can see I haven't listened to it very much at all. Uh, but it's kind of nice, it gives you a little, a little graph. You can also see your titles, which ones you've been listening to, and your listening level, newbie, novice, pro, scholar, master. Very cool stuff. Scroll over, go back to my library. When you hold down one of these tiles, you get a view summary, tag this title is finished, remove the title from the device, and of course if we tap it, we go into it. To the galaxy. <laughs> we'll just pause that for a moment. And so there's your main page, you get your details of the app, uh, including the summary, the ratings, who narrated it, you have your different chapters, which is pretty cool. Of course, any bookmarks that you save, so that's what's really nice about this, of course, you can be listening to something, you can create a bookmark, come back to it later. We go back to the main player. If we go down to the controls here, you have button free, sleep, pin to start, and share. Button free is kind of nice. Uh, it will go to the screen here. You can see you swipe left to rewind, swipe left to uh, go 30 seconds, tap anywhere to play or stop. And if you swipe up and down, it creates a bookmark. It's kind of a neat interface. I got to tell you that. It's very creative, very interesting. Um, kind of out of nowhere, actually. But I think it's a, an interesting way to be listening to a book on the go without having to have a... Um, you know, full interface basically. Pin to start is pretty cool. So there you go, creates a nice little tile for it. Now what's neat about this is, this is basically a play and go. So if I tap this, it should just launch right into the audiobook and start playing it. See? And it backs back out again. And so, of course, it works with the audio guide here. And so it pops down, and you can do your full controls. But that's a neat little thing with that tile. I like that. So it's just one click, play and go, and it gets back out of the app, lets you just listen to your book. Very easy, no fiddling around, no digging through all of these menus. Really smart design here. That's what I'm saying. We've waited a long time for this app, but they've done a really nice job with it. Of course, you have a sleep feature if you just want to fade out, which is kind of cool. And then you have your other back uh, 30 seconds and create bookmarks. And of course, share, which uses that same social interaction. So there you go. That is basically the Audible app. Um, like I said, I like it a lot. You have refresh, settings, and support. Let's see what's under settings. General. Prevent your phone from sleeping, which is kind of nice. Shop and browser. You can use the default browser. Oh, you have different themes. I didn't even realize that before. We'll have to restart. Here's your downloads. Only download will connect it to a Wi-Fi network. Download format, standard, or high quality. That's interesting. Now, that book I just downloaded was 83 megs. So it'll be interesting to see what the high quality is. Playback. Back button's 30 seconds. You can uh, actually configure that, apparently. Automatically begin playback of next download segment for multi-part titles. And of course, here's your accounts and helping about. 
Let's back out here and let's see what that light theme looks like. And there's the light theme. I think we can all agree dark theme is probably better, which is probably why they have it as the default. So that is the Audible app. Very impressive. I can't wait to hit the marketplace. I think you guys will be really, really happy with it. It's a big title for the Windows phone, and I'm glad we're getting it. They did a great job. There you go. Take care, everybody.